Hello, hello, hello. Hey, hey, hey. Come on in and get comfortable. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Jaleesa. Reading beyond the book cover, where we stay reading beyond the book's cover. My name is Jaleesa. Welcome if it's your first time and welcome back if you are returning. Happy October the 1st. We finally made it to spooky season. I just wish the, the temperature would match. <laughs> But I'm here nonetheless, and I have a busy day today because I am in the process of putting together TBRs as well as videos and content for several readathons that I will be participating in in October. Um, one of them being this one that I am doing a video for, which is Gawktober. So I'm participating in Gawktober. I'm also participating in Black Alinathon. For the Culture Readathon and Middle Grade Magic. So I have several things going on. There's also another one I know that's happening pretty soon that involves Middle Grade. So once I get the details from that for that one, if I feel that I have space for it, I will add it in um, to my list of things to read. But we'll see. Right now, we're just going to focus on what I do have access to. So this video is going to be for Godtober. We're going to go through the game that they created. It's called uh, Godtober Creature Feature. In a bit, I'm going to share my screen so you all can see what I choose and then the prompts that I get. My goal is to maybe read one or two books for this uh, readathon. We'll see because I want to make sure that whatever I choose, it can pick, it can fit as many prompts as possible because the what I need in my life right now is I think I need a lot of cross uh, prompts or cross, what is the word I'm looking for? <laughs> I needed to, I needed to fit the, the prompts and the requirements across the board for all of them if I can. So without further ado, uh, and not waste any more time. We're gonna go ahead and play the game. So let me share my screen right now and we're gonna get into it. I'm really excited. Um, something about having an... <laughs> it's very creative um, for all these readathons. They're getting more and more, um, not necessarily intense, because that's not the word I'm looking for, but a little bit more thorough. It's not um, It's not like it used to be. I hope I'm making sense. If you hear noise upstairs, I don't know what's going on. People are moving around. And then of course the, the air condition will go off every now and then. So I do apologize if it sounds like it's too much happening. Okay, so you can see the screen. I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm gonna play. Ah! So excited. Oh, yeah. Another thing, you're going to see this shirt again because, like I said, I'm bulk filming today. So, do what you will with that information. So, we're going to start. Oh, so where is my lair? I want to be in Dracula's castle. I don't want to be in a morgue. I don't want to be in a swamp. I like the swamp, but no. <laughs> so, I want to be inside. Okay. So, Dracula's castle. I'm a homebody anyway. Head. So, the head. The choices are Black Lagoon, Mothman, and Headless. I am going to do Mothman because I love those eyes. And something about those ears is really cute. So I mean I want a head on my I want a head on my neck. <laughs> so Mothman. Mm, right arm. So this was a little bit difficult because I like tentacles, but the feel of tentacles I do not like. So and the robot arm is just a little bit too futuristic for me. Um werewolf claw. I like those nails, so I'm going to get the werewolf claw because I want to be able to, you know, paint them and look cute. Left arm, whipped fingers, hook hand, or ghostly arm. I'm leaning more towards the ghost arm. Something about it is calling me. Hook hand, I'm not really into pirates like that, so we're going to leave that alone. Whipped fingers, cool. However, they're up there with tentacles, slimy. Mm -mm. So we're going to get ghostly arm. And legs, let's see. Snake body, body innards, or bird feet. Bird feet are kind of cool. And I, that's something else I can paint. That's crazy. I'm still thinking about like, what? Can, <laughs> how can I decorate my body? Um, which is funny also because I don't really be thinking about that now. You see my nails, they're plain. But just something about being a creature, I think I'd be like the most bedazzled Creature you, had, creature you have ever seen. 
I'm there for the air conditioning. Why couldn't you wait? Oh, ah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. This is hard. I'm having a dilemma between snake body and bird feet. I'm gonna do bird feet because snake body you have to shed, and that uh -uh, I'm not no. I'm low maintenance, above head. So I love the look of all of these, but what is calling me the most is this twig headdress. Yes. Yes. I mean, delicate, but cute. You know what I mean? So, twig headdress it is. Back item. So, they have a, it's a Kagunye, a Kagune. Bat wings, demon, and whip tail. So, I'm happy. There's a tie over here between, I don't know what this is. It looks like, let me look it up. That'll be smart. What is a Kagunye? Excuse me. Oh, it's blood. Um, I mean, that's kind of cool. You know, I think I may do the Kagunye. I'm having a, okay, now it's a tie between all of them because I want to fly and I want to tail because I feel like I play with it a lot um, and be, you know, like flirtatious or whatever. God, that'll have me out of character for real if I had to tell. <laughs> um, because I don't really understand the Kagunya that much, even though it looks cool, I am going to choose Demon Whip Tail because I want to whip my tail. So this is my Creature Feature TBR. I have BIPOC rep, Disability rep, LGBTQ rep, Sentient House, Insects, Fake Dating, Book That Haunts You, Asian Mythology, Forest Creature, and Monster Romance. I'm not really sure which books that I'm going to read for this, but my goal is to at least be able to fill out my, um, it's like a TBR card. I chose Mansion. So hopefully I can just put some perspective books on there that I, I will most likely try to get to. And I'm going to focus mostly on middle grade if I can, only because there's two other uh, readathons that are focused on middle grade and comics and graphic novels and all that. So I try, I'm trying to stay in the same kind of ballpark because I feel I'm, I'm really afraid, I'm not even gonna lie, of going outside of those areas or those genres or those subjects because I'm going to overwhelm myself. But I still want to participate. So you see what I mean? So we'll see. I'm going to be smart about it. Take my time. And you never know. Maybe some of the books that I'll read for one of them, while I'm reading the book, I will see that some of this or some of these items are inside of the book. And I'll be able to do it that way instead of doing a pre-filled out TBR. So we're I'm really excited about it. This is my first time trying it, so we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to do the Instagram photo challenge or not, but if time allows me to and creativity as well, you'll see me there. Um, in the comments, let me know what readathon are you participating in? Are you participating in this one? If you're not, what are you looking forward to doing in this time of the year? October specifically, because everybody is going wild, okay? So I'll talk to y'all later. Until next time, drink your water. Mind the business that's yours. And continue reading me on the book's cover. I'll see y'all later. Bye, y'all.